If I get one more garden gnome, koozie, or tchotchke, I'm gonna hurl it at you, maybe. When it comes to gift giving, we at the Groovolution believe that it is best if we are a smidge more intentional. And I'm gonna tell you what I mean by that when you hit the notification bell and the subscription button, and then we're gonna meet right back here. As much as I love Hallmark, at this point, it feels like gifting is an obligation. Most of the people I know have their basic needs met. And to be quite frank, if there's anything I've learned in my golden years, is that it's the intentional gift giving that actually sticks with us. Some of the ways that I am a little more intentional in my giving is by gifting experiences. I like to gift experiences that perhaps a person just wouldn't offer themselves. And I might not get them a Christmas gift every year, but on that third year, we are gonna rally. Another thing I like to do is make gourmet items for people. This is a really fun way of bringing your home to another's home. And soon I'll be sharing some of my favorite house staples. Another way that I focus on intentional gift giving is via acts of kindness. Do you have a neighbor who could use a helping hand? Do you have a friend who has five kids and just could really use a runner for one O to five? There are a million ways that we can be more intentional in our gifts and not focus on the pressures as put forth by Hallmark. <laughs> so in the event you were shopping for me, aside the obvious gifts, like perhaps some Groovolutionary swag, mask, sweatshirt, sweatpants, or delightful gifts like that, I am actually most apt to appreciate thoughtful time with the giver. So tell me, what is the best gift you've ever received and what's the worst gift you've ever received? My name is Ellie Venn and I'm a self-proclaimed Groovolutionary.